In our previous lesson, we have looked at how we can divide polynomials. I hope you found the process very interesting. My name is Nana Oedu, and you can call me Say Nana. Remember to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get all videos on time. In this lesson, we want to look at another example on how we can divide polynomials. So we are looking at the operations on polynomials and we are specifically looking at how we can divide polynomials so let's consider this question so the question says that with the steps of dividing a polynomial by a divisor using the long division method find the quotient and the remainder of the function right so the function is p of x is equal to x raised to the power 4 plus x cubed minus 11 x squared minus 5x plus 30 which is divided by x minus 1. Now let's go through the process of dividing this polynomial. Now when you divide they said they want you to write the quotient and the remainder. Okay so let's take notice of that. We are finding the quotient and the remainder in this case. So let's go through the process of dividing. So we know that the dividend is x raised to the power 4 right plus x cubed minus 11 x squared minus 5 x plus 30 and this is divided by x minus 1 good so we are going to use the long division method so we are going to have our divisor x minus 1 and then use the long division and then we have x raised the power 4 plus x cubed minus 11 x squared minus 5 x plus 30 right so we say the first thing we'll do is that we take the x and divide this by x raised to the power 4 so it means that that gives us x cubed right so x raised to the power 4 divided by x will give us x cubed right then we multiply the x cubed by the divisor x minus 1. So it gives us x raised to the power 4 minus x cubed. Then we subtract. So it means that when we do our subtraction, we are going to have x raised to the power 4 minus, right, x raised to the power 4. So the x raised to the power 4 goes away. Then we have x cubed minus minus x cubed. So you have x cubed minus minus x cubed. So you see that that gives us plus. So we have 2x cubed. So here we are going to have 2x cubed. Then we bring our minus 11x squared minus 5x plus 30. Right. Then we go through the process of division again. So we are going to take our x and divide it by 2x cubed. Or 2x cubed divided by x. So we have 2x cubed all over x so that gives us right plus 2x squared so we are going to multiply 2x squared by x minus 1 so that gives us 2x cubed right 2x squared minus 1 will give us minus 2x squared then we subtract once again so in this case when we subtract we are going to have the 2x cubed minus 2x cubed goes away we have minus 11x squared minus 11x squared minus minus 2x squared. So we have minus 11x squared plus 2x squared. And that will give us minus 9x squared. Right? Then we have minus 5x plus 30. So we go through the division process again. So we are going to have minus 9x squared. Right, divided by the x again. So that gives us minus 9x. Then we multiply minus 9x by the divisor x minus 1. So that gives us minus 9x squared. Negative, negative gives us positive. So plus 9x. Then we subtract. Right, so minus 9x squared minus minus, which is just plus 9x squared. You always realize that the first power of the terms goes away they subtract each other 
right there we have minus 5x minus 9x so minus 5x minus 9x should give us minus 14x so we are going to have minus 14x right plus 30 so we'll go through the division again we are doing that till we get the remainder right so we want to get the remainder so we'll go through the division again so we are going to take uh, minus 14x and divide by x so minus 14x divided by s should give us 14 so minus 14 right then multiply minus 14 by x that gives us minus 14x right they are going to have negative negative to give us positive 14 multiplied by 1 gives us 14 then we subtract so we see that the x and the x goes away minus 14 minus minus 14 x will go away then we have 30 minus 14 so we have 30 minus 14 right so 30 minus 14 will give us 16 so it means that we have our remainder here 16 right so we are done with our division so now we can write out and see that basically our quotient right is the one at the top which is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 14 right then it has a remainder so plus 16 all over the divisor x minus 1 so therefore our quotient is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 9x minus 14 and then the remainder in the question is equal to right uh 16 right so 16 is our remainder so we have gone through the process of long division to be able to divide a polynomial where we have been asked to find the quotient and the remainder in our next lesson we want to consider the factor and the remainder theorem we want to look at how we can apply dividing polynomials in probably the factor and the remainder theorem remember to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget that always you would share with others what you have found see you in the next lesson